So welcome back everyone. Now no need to install an emulator on your Windows PC or laptop to enjoy the Android application or game. Now you can easily dual boot your Windows 10 or 11 with the Chrome OS that will be along with the Google Play Store where you can download any kind of Android application or any kind of game and enjoy them with the best performance. But you need to make sure that you do not skip any part or the process will not work for you. So without any delay, let's quickly get started. So right now I am on Windows 11. This is custom Windows 11 ISO that is Optimum 11. And you can have a look here. And I will be dual booting this laptop with a Chrome OS. Okay, so the very first thing that you have to do, you need to create a different partition where you can install the Chrome operating system. So right now if I bring up the file explorer, so you can see I have only one partition of C drive. And in order to create a partition, you need to make a right click on the Windows icon. Click on disk management. And here you need to take out some space from the C drive. Now minimum it's recommended that you should take 50 gigabyte. But if you really want to enjoy some application or game, then I would recommend you that kindly go with at least 80 or 100 gigabyte. Now I have enough space. So what I will do, I will right click on it and click on shrink. And this kind of dashboard will be up. So here I have to enter the amount and I will take around like 83 gigabyte for which I will type 85000. Then I have to click on OK. And the unallocated space of 83 gigabyte will be created. Now I have to make a right click on it. Click new simple volume. Click on next 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 then i have to change the volume label and i can type it chrome os so that i can quickly identify then click on next and finish all right so once we have created the partition now next we have to install the windows subsystem for the linux for that you need to click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin and this kind of black window will be up now here you have to type a simple command that will be WSL space dash dash install and then you have to hit the enter key and this will start installing the Windows subsystem for the Linux and also the Ubuntu. So wait for some time and once it will be done it will ask you to reboot the computer. On my end you can see it's asking me to enter the new Unix username because I have already installed the Ubuntu. But on your end, when you will reboot the computer, after that it will ask you for the new username where you can type the username and then you have to hit the enter key. Then it will ask you the password, type your desired password, hit the enter key and again retype the password. Alright, so once you have installed the Ubuntu, the Linux and created a username and the password. Now you also need to make sure that the virtualization on the computer is being enabled. So in order to check the virtualization, you can right click on the Windows icon, then click on Task Manager. From the left hand side, on Windows 11, you can click on Performance. Then on the right hand corner, you will find the virtualization option. And on my end, you can see that it has been enabled. But if you find it disabled, then you will have to restart the computer in the BIOS mode. And in order to start in the BIOS, there can be different BIOS key. I'm using a HP laptop. On my end, it's F10. So I will tap on F10. And then I will get this kind of page. Here I have to come to the system configuration. And I can find the virtualization technology on the right of it. You can see the option to enable or disable it. So enable it. Then press the F10 key to save the changes. And restart the computer again. Okay, so we are done with the basic step where we have created a partition. Installed Windows subsystem for the Linux. And also enable the virtualization. Now we have to go ahead and download the required file in order to dual boot the Chrome OS. So bring up any of your favorite browser and then you have to open this website that will be crosstech tech and once you come to this website it says find your Chrome operating system device. So here you need to download the Chrome OS depending that what kind of processor you are using. So in order to check out the processor what you can do you can right click on the windows icon click on task manager then click on the performance tab, click on the CPU tab and here you will find the complete information about your processor. If you are using the 4th generation or the 5th generation, then you have to look for the Ramos. If you are using 6th to 9th generation, then you have to look for the China. 
for the 10th generation Jinlon and for the 11th or the newer generation you have to search for the Voxel and if you are using the AMD processor then you have to look for the Gumbos alright so I'm using here the 7th generation so I have to look for the China so again I will come to the cross.tech website and I have to type S-H-Y-Y-A-N-A -A, and I will get this code name China hit the enter key now it will show you all kind of uh, version available at the bottom you will find the recovery images click on the drop down and choose the latest version so as of now 124 that is on the last is the latest version so I have to click on it and the downloading will be started and it's around 1.6 gigabytes so it will take some time so wait until the downloading is being completed okay so once it get downloaded now you have to open a new tab and then you need to search for the branch github type branch github and you will be getting this first website you have to click on it now here scroll down a bit on the right hand side under the releases click on the latest version and here again scroll down a bit under the asset you will find branch r123 is stable you will have to click on it and the downloading will be started so again it's around 746 mb so it may take some time so wait and once you have downloaded both the file now open the downloaded folder and here we have the chrome os and the branch file and both are in the zip folder so right click on the file of the chrome os first click on extract all click on extract once extracted now you also need to extract the branch folder so now right click on the branch folder click on extract all click on extract okay and now you can see that we have both the extracted folder of branch and the chrome os so now what we can do we can delete the zip file and we have these two folder of the chrome os and the branch file and now in order to make it more simple right click on this location only or up to new click on folder and name it as chrome os and now we will copy all the file inside the chrome os and the branch and copy into this new folder okay so first open the chrome os and we have to copy this file this bin file but as you can see that it's really a long file so what we can do we can rename it so right click on it click on rename and delete everything before dot bin and keep it to chrome os dot bin so now it's more simple now you can right click on it and choose copy go back open the chrome os folder that you have created and paste the file over here now you need to do the same with the branch folder so go back open the branch folder and copy all these four file right click choose copy again go back open the chrome os folder paste over here bingo so now once you have pasted all the file again you can go back and this time you can delete this chrome os and the branch folder that we just extracted so again right click on it and delete it okay and now you can see that we have a neat and clean page and we have only one folder by the name chrome os that contain the chrome.bin and all the branch file and now finally we are ready for the installation so now you have to bring up the ubuntu you can also click on your uh, window search and you can look for the ubuntu and open it once you open it you will be getting this kind of uh, black window and here you have to run few kind of command and all this command you will be getting in the description so the very first command will be sudo space apt space update hit the enter key now it will ask you for the password that you created in the beginning and now basically this command what it will do it will be updating all kind of required file all kind of application so that you should not have any problem while running the further command all right so wait for some time until this command is completed and then you have to type the another command that will be sudo space apt space dash y space install space pv space cgpt space tar space unzip all right so now instead of manually typing you can also copy the command from the description right click here and paste it again hit the enter key and the third command will be cd space forward slash mnt forward slash 
and then you have to type the path of the folder of the chrome os that we have created so bring up the file explorer look for the chrome os in the download section double click on the folder to open it then click on the address box at the top right click on it and copy the path then right click on this ubuntu terminal and paste it okay now here you have to make some changes because in the ubuntu you cannot run this kind of command using this kind of back forward slash okay so what you have to do after the c you have to remove the colon and remove the backslashes and add the forward slash so i will add the forward slash here then also i will remove before the admin then before the downloads and then before the chrome os then you have to hit the enter key okay we made some mistake okay i'm sorry there will not be the capital c so press the up arrow key the command will come up now replace the capital c with the lowercase c and again hit the enter key and this time you will be inside this location so in order to find out that what exactly it contain you can type the another command that is dir and hit the enter key now it will list you that what all it contains in this particular location all right so now the final command will be sudo space bash bash space chrome os install dot sh space dash src space chrome os dot bin space dash dst again give a space forward slash mnt forward slash then you have to type the drive letter of the partition that you have created for the chrome os so on my end you can see the partition that we created is by the name d drive all right so what i will do here i will type d then give a forward slash but keep in mind if on your end the partition drive letter shows you by different letter like e or f then you have to type the same drive letter okay so after typing the drive letter just type forward slash chrome os dot img again give a space dash s give a space and then you have to type the drive letter space so this will be depending that what space you have taken on my end you can see i have taken around 83 gigabyte so i don't have to type the exact partition size so if i have taken 83 gigabyte so i can type somewhere like 75 gigabyte okay so try to reduce it you don't have to take the full space if you have taken around 50 then you have to take around 45 if you have taken around 80 then you can go around 74 or 75 so on my end it's 83 so i will take around 75 and that's it your command is completed and then finally you have to hit the enter key so now you can see it says creating image file creating the partition table now this process may take some time about uh, 8 to 10 minutes so you will have to wait until it's all been done all right so once it will be completed now it says the chrome os disk image has been created and if you want to dual boot with this disk image with grub win then type dual boot okay so what you have to do here just need to type dual boot then hit the enter key and again it will give you some kind of instructions so if you want to read you can read and follow the steps now let me tell you exactly what you have to do because you are now remaining with the final step so again bring up your browser open a new tab and you have to look for grub to win then click on download and the file will be quickly downloaded in a zip file again now in case if it failed to download the file the grub to win file and it says virus detected then don't worry it's not the virus as windows doesn't want that you should download the grub file on your computer to dual boot all right so if it fail then you have to open the virus and threat protection on your computer you will have to disable the security for a while and then again you can go with the download all right so once you have downloaded grab to win file open the downloaded folder right click on the grab to win zip file click on extract all click on extract And once it will be done, it will find the g2w install.exe. Just make a double click on it or you can also right click on it and choose run as admin. And this kind of page will be coming up. 
now here you have to click on ok click on ok again now it will say now downloading the grab to win software so wait for a few seconds only so once it's been done now you have to click on close and again another box will be appearing up you have to click on ok then you will have to click on setup at the right hand corner wait for some time and then you will be getting this kind of page then click on close the setup program and it will be cleaning up again click on ok and then finally it will be coming up with this kind of dashboard now here at the bottom you will find manage boot menu you will have to click on it then at the top you will find add a new entry in the orange box click on it then from the type section you have to click on the drop down and choose create user section and now it will be coming up with a notepad that says creating the user section code and here you have to paste the code that code will be in the d drive in the chrome partition that you have created double click on the chrome os the new partition that you have created and here you'll find two different files chrome os.img and the chrome os.img.grub.txt so open the .txt file and copy all the code from here select all right click on it choose copy then you can close it come back to this user section code notepad paste the file then click on file click on save and now you can close it bingo so now click on ok again ok and ok again all right now here you have to select the branch that is on the top select it and then click on apply and here you can see the preview now we are almost done and the next time when you start the computer you will be getting this kind of page where you can choose your chrome operating system so now we are all done and we can close it and let's restart the computer now so now the next time when you restart the computer you might get the new screen where you can choose either the windows or you can go with the branch but in case if you don't find that option then you have to tap the f9 key to change the boot priority order and here you can see that i find the branch option that is on number three so that indicate that the chrome os has been successfully installed on my computer all right so i will select it and then hit the enter key and then i will be getting this kind of page here where you can find many other options so here you have to select the branch option hit the enter key and then it will say root fs is being rebuilt please wait this may take a few minutes all right so again wait for a few minutes only and once it will be done you will be getting the chrome os logo and very soon you will be getting the setup page connect to your internet and then finally you have to follow the basic step and log in with a google account and once you will be done finally you will be coming to this kind of page here and you can see that the chrome os has been successfully installed and from here only i can access the google play store you can see it's been delisted over here i can also find this on the taskbar so let me click on the play store and now here i can enjoy any kind of android application or game that i want to all right so for the demo purpose let me quickly download a game here so that i can show you okay so once you are done enjoying the android application or game now the next time if you want to start the computer in the windows then simply you have to go ahead and restart the computer and whenever in the future if you want to enjoy the android application or game you have to follow the same steps you have to change the boot priority order choose the branch option and follow the steps so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this tutorial helpful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye